So let's begin with a close look at eye care. According to an organization called Eye Care America, one in three Americans has some form of vision impairing eye disease by the age of 65. But most don't know it. Because they experience no symptoms or just assume that deteriorating vision is part of getting older. Eye Care America wants to change that, and it's created a program to help seniors who aren't getting the eye care they need. Let's find out how it works. What if your view of the world were becoming increasingly blurred or dim? What if you had no way of knowing if your eye condition were treatable, reversible, or ultimately leading you to blindness? For many seniors who have limited resources or poor access to regular health care, this situation is all too real and all too frightening. Regular eye care is important for all Americans, but it's especially important for the elderly who have an increased incidence of diseases like glaucoma, cataract, retinal degeneration. These conditions found early and properly attended to can preserve vision for the individual for the rest of their life. Across the country, thousands of volunteer ophthalmologists are providing free eye exams to prevent blindness in people who lack adequate health care and may have no warning signs of eye diseases. The program is run by Eye Care America, the public service foundation of the American Academy of Ophthalmology. Eye Care America's Eye Care program is partially funded through a grant from Pfizer Ophthalmologics. It's designed for U.S. citizens or legal residents who haven't had an eye exam in at least 12 months and are at increased risk for glaucoma, cataracts, and retinal degeneration. In some cases, Eye Care America even provides eye surgery free of charge. One of the most serious conditions that Eye Care America seeks to prevent is glaucoma. It's a particularly dangerous problem because the damage that it causes to vision cannot be reversed. Whatever vision glaucoma takes away cannot be returned. So unlike cataract surgery where we can return vision, glaucoma steals away the vision and it's gone forever. A simple, easy, few minute examination can literally save somebody from blindness. Glaucoma is the second leading cause of vision loss in the United States. And for African Americans and Hispanics, it's the number one cause of blindness. Glaucoma is caused by an increased pressure within the eye. Pressure in the eye builds up and damages the optic nerve and nerve fibers of the retina, leading to glaucoma. I realize the danger of losing my eyesight, which is the most precious thing you can have, and it's the most valuable thing you can lose. So I recommend have an examination for glaucoma, because once you lose your sight, you lose everything. The risk factors for glaucoma include um, African ancestry, Hispanic ancestry, um, older age, and very importantly, uh, positive family history. Uh, persons that have glaucoma will initially have a slow loss of peripheral or side vision. They may not be aware of this uh, loss of vision initially, but as the condition progresses, it can encompass all areas of their vision and they can go blind and lose all of their vision. The whole point is that at this day and age, there's no reason for anybody to lose vision from glaucoma. And yet, the biggest segment of my population are people who get to me when they already have significant loss and the care and treatment is so much more difficult. This should not be happening. Ophthalmologists check for glaucoma by measuring the pressure inside the eye with a quick and painless office test. If they find signs of the condition, they can recommend a range of treatments depending on its severity. We start with uh, eye drops, and the vast majority of uh, people with glaucoma uh, can be successfully treated with um, eye drops. Uh, we also have laser treatments, and finally, um, if those don't work, then we do have surgical approaches that we can use. My mother has glaucoma, and my mother also has diabetes, and um, my mother is practically blind. So when I was diagnosed with glaucoma, I think I panicked for probably the first month or so before I found out that things could be done to either help or correct the problem. The things I learned about glaucoma 
was one, it was treatable, and two, that you know you could live with it, you were not necessarily going to go blind, which I think I might have if I had not been treated you know, immediately with it. I think it's wonderful that the doctor caught my uh, eyesight or my vision in time to save it. There is a distinct possibility that if I had not gone to the ophthalmologist, I would be blind today. In my practice, I have been able to take care of uh, several individuals, uh, Hispanic persons with glaucoma, and have found that we can control the disease with regular eye examinations and the appropriate treatment. Being Hispanic and knowing that we are in a high-risk area of having glaucoma, I would recommend that you take an exam immediately. For those that have glaucoma, this program is a godsend, I would say. It's not normal for people to lose their vision as they get older, but when they do have failing eyesight, it's important to find out why and early, because early attention will often correct the problem. Eye Care America's program is likely to be of special interest to the millions of Americans who have no health insurance. If you haven't had your eyes checked recently and can't afford to visit to a regular eye doctor, Eye Care America urges you to take these three steps. One, Check whether anyone in your family has had glaucoma, cataracts, age-related macular degeneration, or diabetic retinopathy. Two, call 1-800-222-EYES to see if you qualify for a free eye exam. And three, if you're diagnosed with an eye disease, tell family members so they can help you take care of it. For those that are in need that are over 65, a U.S. citizen, do not have an ophthalmologist and think they may have a medical or surgical eye problem can be given this care through the national program at no out-of-pocket expense. I think the eye care uh, program is excellent because a lot of people are not aware of you know what's causing their vision to deteriorate and if they didn't have uh, an organization like this they would probably end up going blind. Here to tell us more about Eye Care America's program for needy seniors is Dr. James Heltzer of Champlain Ophthalmology in Bethesda, Maryland. Dr. Heltzer is the president of the Washington Metropolitan Ophthalmologic Society. He obtained his medical degree from the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Welcome to the Daily Apple. Thank you. Tell me, Eye Care America's program for seniors, how does it work? Uh, the Eye Care America program is a service program that was started in 1985 by the American Academy of Ophthalmology. The primary mission of the program is to preserve vision. So we have 7,500 ophthalmologists around the country uh, who are available to see seniors, to see kids, and to see other patients with glaucoma and diabetes. When you think about seniors themselves, what are some of the eye conditions that you actually treat there? Uh, glaucoma and diabetes are two of the major ones, but also macular degeneration and cataracts. Do seniors have to come to Eye Care America more than once, or can they just come once and get their testing done? Uh, the, uh, the program involves an initial diagnosis, but then there is a full year of care uh, that is also pro provided associated with the program, where all of the treatment that's necessary is provided as part of the program. I see. Who actually pays for it? Uh, well, if, if patients do have insurance, uh, the ophthalmologists that are involved uh, take whatever re reimbursement comes from the insurance companies with no additional charge to patients. And if patients don't have, the, have any insurance, uh, the care is provided free of cost. As we get older, does our, do our eyes naturally deteriorate? Uh, there are some natural deterioration processes, but in general, uh, vision loss is, does not have to be a natural part of getting older. With cataract surgery and some of our newer technologies, uh, elderly patients see wonderfully. No, but there is that 40 tipping point, right, where you start to lose your vision? There is a little bit of that, but with the appropriate correction uh, and even some of the newer technologies involved with cataract surgery and refractive surgery, uh, patients do very well in terms of even those presbyopic changes. Well, I tell you, I had LASIK surgery and it was an absolute miracle. I, I was legally blind, if you will, and st sat up, and as soon as I sat up, I could read the clock. It was uh, 
unbelievable. I've never experienced anything like that. I want to go through a number of the things you talked about. Macular degeneration, what is that? Macular degeneration is a disease uh, of, of seniors, patients over the age of 65, uh, where they lose their central vision. It's uh, an age-related process, and uh, two of the things that seniors can do to prevent macular degeneration uh, are, are to wear sunglasses to protect, protect from ultraviolet light and to take a multivitamin with antioxidants. Oh, very interesting. Cataracts, very common. Tell me about that. Cataracts, another disease of the aging population, also linked to ultraviolet light and ultraviolet light exposure. Uh, and there are wonderful surgeries now with fantastic new technologies uh, that not only make the surgery easy, but the vision recovery excellent. Fantastic. Let's cover very quickly diabetes and glaucoma. Uh, diabetes and glaucoma are two other uh, very important diseases in seniors. Uh, glaucoma, also called the sneak thief of sight, uh, is a very common disease. One in two patients in the United States uh, goes undetected in terms of their glaucoma, uh, and it takes the peripheral vision first and only produces symptoms in the central vision loss very late in the course of disease. So it's important to be evaluated uh, for your glaucoma. Diabetes, another disease uh, where the, the, really the, the onus is on the ophthalmologist to figure out and detect any vision changes that are going to happen with the diabetes long before patients become aware of their symptoms. So it's real important to get uh, annual examinations with an ophthalmologist. Can you give us some more tips and more specific tips for senior adults that they can use to protect their eyesight? Uh, sunglasses and multivitamins are really the primary things that can, they can do. Uh, they also should be aware of any family history they may have uh, of eye diseases so that they can, can alert their doctors to important things to be screening for uh, in the course of their examinations. And finally, just a yearly exam. So, you know, those old wives' tales about eating carrots and sitting too close to the TV, I assume. Uh, the carrots are good. The carotene, the beta carotenes and carrots can be very effective for the macular degener degeneration, uh, but probably sitting too close to the TV is, uh, is okay. And so reading in the dark, tell me about that. A lot of people say that if you read when you don't have enough light, and mature adults a lot of times will end up in a hotel, let's say, where there's not enough light. Should they bring their own um, light bulbs to get lighter? Uh, probably not necessary to bring your own light bulbs, uh, but a good source of light certainly will make some of the near vision uh, issues that patients over the age of 40 face uh, a little bit more easy to deal with. What does the future look like for eyesight for mature adults? What are some of the newest research that's out there? Uh, well, there, there are a whole host of things that are happening uh, in a variety of the specialties. In, in cataract surgery, uh, we're using lots of different new multifocal lenses to make uh, both distance vision and near vision uh, something that patients can do without glasses. Uh, from the perspective of, of macular degeneration, there are a whole host of new treatments that are available for wet macular degeneration in addition to the ARIDS eye study, which is what has illuminated us uh, to the relationship between the multivitamins uh, and the protective effects of multivitamins. Great. Fantastic information. Thanks so much for being here. You're welcome.